It didn't take long for word to get around this afternoon. It's exciting. I'm glad he's coming home. Immediately, the Wingate Fire Department sprang into action. Firefighters are good at that sort of thing. Want all the lights flashing on the ladder truck and on all of our trucks. And EMS is coming. Get them out here as well. Even the city of Monroe sent over a crew for the big welcome home. I'm in. John's winged. I mean, I first moved here back in 2004, and it's been a great time to know him. He's helped me a lot. There's not anyone I've ever talked to that has had a bad word to say about John. He's involved in the university, he's involved in the, the town, he's involved in the Lions Club. There's not many parts of this community where he isn't involved. And the amount of love and the support that the community shows for him, I, I think it's a testament to his character. As John's escort got closer to town, more people started to show up, all hoping to see John with his new heart for the first time in months. Well, it's just a day of celebration for our town to get John back. It's a, we celebrate because we recognize it for the miracle that it is. It's going to be up to Linda. I'm going to find out if she wants to stop and everybody see him. Yeah, but don't be offended if they keep going by. It's about what the doctor said he can and can't do. Finally, just before 2 p.m., the moment everyone had been waiting for. It seemed a little overwhelming for John at first, but his smile quickly came back oh, now that he's finally back where he belongs. It's been a, a huge support from the community that has pushed him through to this day of, of homecoming. The words you can't describe. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And it's a wonderful thing for this town who finally has its heartbeat back. In Wingate, I'm Brian Stevenson, WBTV on your side.